Attends. Hey guys, I'm gonna teach you today a new recipe. It's one of the favorite, uh, really traditional from Gabon. It is cassava leaves. So we just boil the cassava that you can get at any African or Asian store. And in order for us to have kind of a similar taste back home, we add a peanut butter cream. So you can put a whole jar of peanut butter or two thirds of the peanut butter. That helps kind of bring the texture back and just make it yum yum. So you make sure once you boil with a little bit of water because the cassava usually comes frozen. And then you put the peanut butter inside and let it melt smoothly, really like until it pass. So I'm using the smoked turkey right now that I cut, so smoked turkey leg, and I'm gonna be frying it in the oil. So we just oil a little bit and then um, cut this slice it, then put all the turkey, uh, most of it, really slowly, and then some bay leaves for the taste of it. And then you fry it slowly, kindly. Once it's kind of um, a little, you know, kind of brown, then you're gonna start uh, just taking out of the the oil. It's really good. It's really good. I uh, remember a story where my grandmother would go to the farm. We used to have plantation of uh, the cassava leaf so i really grew up eating cassava most of the time y'all and that's what it is so you put the onion that you cut already you put uh, the garlic and then you add uh, a little bit of all the season that you want and then the whole habanero paper that you just put on the top so it doesn't get uh, uh you know mashed inside because some people don't like that and you add beyond cubes and again it's all always rich you have to be really careful and kind of you know a little extra on the spices so at the same time you know the the third the smoked duck is being fried because it takes a little while and you add the rest and then you make sure everything is inside in the pot you know and the fire the fire is like medium medium heat that you leave it on if you have some crayfish you can add some crayfish if you have any sardines at this time, you can also add sardine or even make it with fish. But I decided to make it with the uh, smoked turkey because it tastes um, better. And make sure that, you know, everything is mixed up together. And then, uh, you know, you're going to be adding the oil in a minute. So it's really, you know, most of the time we eat the cassava leaves with uh, cassava, the roots. Or we eat it with rice or we eat it with the cassava and i'm adding the greens that is makes is green pepper uh you know green onions onions usually i add a little bit right now and then i'm gonna add a little bit toward the end so it's really good and then everything is fried i'm extracting one by one one by one you know just the reason why i fry the turkey so that it's not like you kind of give the smoky one usually i will use the smoked sardine you know the dry sardine but i wanted to use the smoked turkey which makes it taste you know yummier and the shell so you can use for this dish you can use uh, a fresh fish you can use a sardine you can hold sardine can that you can find at walmart everywhere uh you know or in african market or you just can use crayfish. You don't have to put uh, the meat, but it's usually tastier with the meat in it. So if you're vegan, just remove anything else. If you're not eating, you know, remove the meat and just eat the, the, the greens. They can still be tastier, okay? So it's really good. So I was saying that we grew up really eating cassava, you know, as a part of, you know, on all the parties that you go, in Gabon, you will find cassava leaves dish uh, made in like weddings, anniversaries, and stuff. It's really rich. So once the the water, the oil is really hot, it's really hot to the burning point. You put it into the the leaves, the onions. I we put the onions on the top so that it's not too burning. So that once you put the hot oil on it, on it, it kind of make it uh, you know cooked it uh, over 
and usually you put enough oil so that because it's gonna be absorbed by the the leaves the paste and everything together and then you make sure you know you stir it together you have to really go slowly really go slowly and make sure there's no extra um um cream you know peanut butter cream make sure you go up and down really slowly you know it's just like my grandma had a special technique uh to usually and usually we use the wooden spoon and then uh, i'm adding the fresh you know ingredients the greens toward the end so that you know the everything is still there and then the crayfish toward the end also so that it helps you know kind of keep the seasoning together and also putting that paper on the top so that back home we call it the floater because when you when you cook it kind of floated on the top on the surface and again like i was saying to make sure that it doesn't get mashed in the thing and adding the rest of the oil slowly by little you know it has to have enough oil because the, this thing kind of you know suck the water together so it's really really kind of a I would say a hungry or thirsty uh, green so it just looks yummy y'all just mm, delicious right there hope you guys are hungry because anytime I, I cook it I'm hungry and then it's just amazing everybody loves it it's really good so I really hope you enjoy it and if you test it let us